Okay guys, I'm ready for a trip to New Jersey. That's where I'm originally from, flying out of Bush Airport. Um, if you are new to the Bush Airport parking system, if you park at the terminals and you reserve it in advance, you actually get like a 40% discount. So I would ch definitely check that out if you're gonna drive yourself to the airport. Um, we land in Newark International Airport, EWR, and we're gonna be in the heart of the city so we can get to multiple places as you'll see. We stayed at the Comfort Inn Suites in Harrison, New Jersey, which is kind of in close to downtown Newark. Um, there were some pros and cons about staying in the hotel. It's a three-star hotel, and it, it earned the three stars. Um, I would say that their customer service at the front desk was exceptional. Nellie was one of the people that helped us out. We ended up having to switch rooms. She put us in a better room, and I can't complain about that. Um, the location was a little bit loud because you're right on Route 21, but it was right around the corner from Topps Diner. If you're not familiar with Topps Diner, it has basically, it's a diner, but it has like high-end food items there. It's a staple if you haven't actually visited Topps Diner, I would suggest take it, checking that out. Um, our first stop was Branchbrook Park Skating Rink in North New Jersey. Um, it's one of the few skating rinks that are left over. I'm from New Jersey, so I can skate, skate. <laughs> you gotta say it twice to make sure people know. Um, we checked that out. It's fun for little ones to older people. Good music. Um, it wasn't too crowded in there. We wore our masks when we were in there, and it wasn't too crowded. There have several family skate sessions. That's my son skating. He's getting his little dance on and skating. Um, they have several family skate sessions during the summertime, so we went to the two to four skate session, and that was just enough. They have several, like 11 to 1, 1 to 3, 2 to 4 kind of thing, so two-hour blocks. On This was on a Saturday, so... Um, if you want to check that out with your children, that's a nice activity. I believe it was $16, whether you had your skates or not, on Saturdays. I think it might be cheaper during the weekday. But on Saturdays, $16, whether you have skates or not. So that's the cost, and check it out for that. Our next stop was the Walter Ulrich Pool in Rahway, New Jersey. It's actually a newer pool. They just remodeled it. It's an Olympic-sized pool. There's a kiddie pool. There's a playground. You can grill outside. That's the line to get in. We stood in line for over an hour to get in. Everybody had the great idea to come there um, on the day we went. It was a Sunday. Around noon is when they opened. My son, when we finally got in, my son hopped right in the water. Um, as you can see, a lot of people had the idea. It was almost 100 degrees that day, but it was a nice refresher. Um, next stop is American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey. It's a huge mall. They have a lot of things there. Indoor water park, indoor amusement park, indoor skiing. Um, it's just a lot of things happening in there. So we went to Nickelodeon Universe, but the DreamWorks Water Park is literally right next door to it. Um, the cost for the Nickelodeon Universe was about 40, $46 for kids and $50 for adults. The water park was a little too expensive for my, my taste. It was about $90. Um, they did have a deal going on if you went through in the summer, you bought the water park and the Universal Universe. Um, you get them both for $120. Um, still kind of expensive, but we checked out the Nickelodeon Universe, which is a pretty large indoor um, amusement park. So if you're a fan of the old stuff like the Rugrats, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, things of that nature, they have all those things there. So it kind of brought back some memories from when I was a child about some of the Nickelodeon stuff. So if you check it out, this is pretty. This is inside the actual mall. So this is one of the largest indoor mall, um, indoor indoor amusement park so we checked it out it wasn't too crowded we didn't have to wait in line more than maybe 15 minutes when we went we went on a monday um so that's it you see the roller coaster is pretty huge they have a lot of activities i would say though some of the some of the rides were closed maybe four or five of the kitty rides were closed which i thought was kind of bad because the the cost didn't change but some of the rides were closed and i don't know how long they have will be closed but that's nickelodeon universe um they had a a, a, few, a good amount of kitty rides, maybe 10 or 12 kitty rides, and then they had like the thrill rides for the older crowd. But there's uh, Paw Patrol stuff, Zuma, Pup Pup in the Way. That was actually, oh, that one was open. Zuma was closed. Um, we rode several of those rides, and then they had like a, a play area too, just for kids to play, like a playground. The Shell, Shell, Bus, Shell Razor was closed as well. Um, this is the carousel for Rugrats. That was obviously open. Um, my son climbing on uh, the dinosaur from Rugrats. <laughs> Dora Sky Railway, that was like a slow train ride if you want to just calm down. Adventure Bay, that was the stationary playground they had there. This was the slime ride, Have a Slime of Your Life. This is a, the 
excuse me, the roller coaster, and I'll show you how it, it goes pretty high. It's a pretty fast ride, so the, the wait isn't too long for it. And as you can see in the background, you can actually have birthday parties there too. So I thought that'd be a cool idea if you wanted to have a birthday party for your child at the Nickelodeon universe. So it's going up, 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 up. This is like, this is not one of the scariest rides they had. They had some pretty, in my view, scary thrill rides. And that's not for me, for my motion sickness. But if that's your thing, they do have those there. As you can see in the background, there's other roller coasters there that you can ride on as well. The SpongeBob Jellyfish Jam, that goes around like a, it's like the swing. Um, Jimmy Neutron, I remember that from my days. Um, it goes, swings around as well. Um, I didn't see the Blasting Bronco. This is kind of the tomb, the dungeon and tomb or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, it's an indoor like climbing thing. It goes all the way up. I think it's like a hundred feet up. Medusa's Lair, Viper's Nest. Can't see the top of it, but. That was definitely for older children because you have to have stuff strapped on in case you fall down, but it's like an obstacle course inside. Um, so I saw that people, you know, there wasn't any line for that one, but uh, I think it might've been a separate cost for that one. I can't remember if that was a separate cost, but it's definitely interesting. It says that, okay, it's called Legends Challenge. So it's the tallest indoor rope course. We got to see some characters. We saw Raphael. We also saw Sky from Paw Patrol. Um, okay, so Liberty Science Center, Jersey City. Wanted to check that out. Um, it's actually in the same area as Liberty State Park. If you're going to see St Statue of Liberty as well. So you can see the New York skyline from there. You can actually dig for dinosaur bones. We got to see wild animals. Excuse me, wild about animals. So we, it was like almost an indoor, I guess, me, um, zoo kind of thing. Obviously, they have other activities to do with the children there. And then right next door, literally, is Liberty State Park. If you want to stop by and see the Statue of Liberty, you can go over there and walk over. There's no cost for that. And we didn't go to the New York side, so we didn't see the front part of her. But look, beautiful New York skyline. If you just want to go out there for the day, have lunch, check things out. You can also take the ferry over there if you wanted to do that. So see you in the next video.